This is going to be about the Cork Sport oil catch can for a Mazda 6, well the 2.5 liter Mazda CX-9 and uh, Mazda 6. The first thing that I wanted to say is this little elbow that goes down here. Alright, I have the, uh, the two hoses that I want to use, but it goes on this left one. The instructions are that you have to remove it. Well, I don't know if you can see, but right here, the clamp is glued. It would have been nice to know that um, before. So what I used is a little bit of that spray, and I sprayed the end when it was installed. Then I was able to actually get it, get it off. Uh, so it's not that the clamps don't matter, but you cannot get the clamp off, <laughs> which would have been nice to know. So Corksport wants you it's, uh, back here to take that hose off there, which the rearmost plug, I think, is the vacuum and the plug coming off this little tower up here. Oops, sorry. That the plug coming off this tower that's up here is the vent, the, like the PCV for the valve cover. I don't really think this is a good idea. I think that routing the hoses down here or over here is just a way to make a vacuum leak. <laughs> so I'm actually going to only use the part that's under the intake manifold. So one is from the crankcase vent out and one is from the intake manifold vacuum port and I think that's what I'm gonna do I think that you will be able to catch most of any vapors coming out from that area I also want this upper area to remain stock looking so that only the catch can which you can't see down there uh, is kinda hidden the other thing is you can get to this uh, so you can install this catch can without removing the bumper <laughs> but what I obviously realized is you can't if you put clamps on the hoses there you can't get to the clamps so I think what I'm just gonna do is I'll make the hoses just a teeny bit long I'll pull the catch can off the bracket attach some clamps and then put it back on. I should have, there shouldn't be any, any trouble to tuck these hoses away. All right, so up here, these two hoses in the middle, the upper one goes to the purge from the crankcase and the lower one there goes to the intake manifold. The real problem, was that right down here in this area is where there's a baffle for the intake manifold so the the hoses can't go here and they were actually rubbing up against this metal back to the fan so anyway the upper hose there is the vacuum to the intake manifold and the lower hose is the purge from the crankcase. I still think that it's a better idea than running hoses up and over and down and along these pipes here because I feel like there's just too much of a chance for vacuum leak. So that's the upper <clears throat> The lower here really wasn't all that bad. Uh, the one thing, let's see, I don't know if, yeah, you should be able to see the hose clamps that's there. On the Mazda 3 that I did, I did not put hose clamps. I did not put any hose clamps on, and what happened was that when it got cold, sometimes I could smell oil. So over here, on those two, 
I have the original spring clamps that were on that little elbow and then down at the bottom there I have the uh, worm gear clamps that the kit came with so we'll have to see I'll have to check it you know maybe in the next thousand miles and see what happens anyway that is the cork sport Mazda 6 CX-9 uh, catch can there you go just one more thing this is a vacuum cap this cap is supposed to go on the intake manifold and then it vents into the turbo itself into the vacuum vent the vacuum port for the turbo but I have seen way too many of these vacuum block offs uh, rot and crack out here in the desert and I really didn't want to want to use it I'd rather use a loop of hose that just goes out and in rather than depending on this this vacuum pug anyway thank you so this happened to me on the Mazda 3 as well is this is a resonator that goes on the bottom of the air horn up here so goes up here and it's too long it actually hits the even though I tried to ho to hide the hoses this resonator is too long so as you can see I use my Dremel tool and I cut a piece out of that I use my sawzall and I cut the, the sh you know the shortest shallowest area here and then I use some super glue to cap that off now part of that part of this is for sound muffling but the other thing is it does actually help to get rainwater out of the airstream but I live in the desert it doesn't rain very much and even so this horn can allow liquid water to drain into the airbox which is where is it it's right there it's deep enough where any rainwater I think is not going to be a problem but that was a complication I did not think that that was going to happen here we go